Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. Now today there is only one story I want to cover, this one's quite a big one and because of that I feel like it deserved its own video. So for those who don't know or missed out, over the weekend Summit1G, one of the biggest Twitch streamers on the platform, was streaming with Jake Paul and a few members of the Team Ten crew. And following on, as I'm sure we all know, there is a bit of an age difference between Summit1G's viewers and Team Ten viewers. This following on with a lot of Summit1G's chat, getting angry at Summit1G's Summit for streaming with Jake, which is where I'm going to show you the first clip. And this clip is called Summit Disappointed at Chat While Playing with Jake Paul. Here it is. Without the push? Yo, uh, don't usually donate. Playing with you oh, yeah, for this team, point, uh, man. 75, Make sure you don't want to invite Logan Paul as well, dude. Hey, man, I wouldn't care. You guys are just, oh, man. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the chat, to be honest with you, dudes. If I'm being completely honest with you. I thought the 1G squad was a little bit different. So following on from this, there is another clip that comes from the exact same game where Summit 1G is defending Jake Paul. Here's that clip. I will start perma banning people because according to me, you guys are seriously have problems with this, are part of the true 1G squad. Yo, right here, right here. You feel me? Yo, there's, a t there's a guy right here. I think he's by himself. Part of that here. fake 1G squad, you feel me? He doesn't even know what's happening, dude. I am on my way, sir. So. On my way. Full team, full team. Nice, dude. Good shit, man. Good shit, man. Good shit, man. Hey, the chug. Who got the chuggies? And so, following on from this, Summit did play a few games with Jake Paul and the Team Ten crew. And upon receiving a whole bunch of hate from his community, he went on to Twitter to say a few things. But first, I have got a few reactions from a few other streamers. So first off, I've got Soda Poppin, then Destiny, and then XQC. So here's those clips playing with Jake Paul or anything like that. I actually have friends who have messaged me saying, hey man, what do you think about playing with him? And I was like, I wouldn't. If they asked me to play games, like I would say yes, but only under the condition I can say whatever the fuck I want to him. So like, if I play with Logan Paul, I'm gonna make a joke about him in the fucking forest and he better not get mad. So with that being said, he probably won't wanna play with me. Fuck it then, right? But if you're gonna look at it from like a business perspective, playing with them, it ain't good for you. Like, who gives a fuck how many subs they have? They're fucking kids, are they not? Like, we're playing Fortnite. I'm gonna make it. He's gonna if he if Logan Paul or whoever manages to land a kill, I'm gonna be like, oh, don't don't film it this time. Like, that's what I'll say. I'm gonna make jokes about it because he's he, fuck it, dude. <laughs> I don't know, but. <sighs> Is there actually any benefit? If you're gonna look at it from like a business perspective, playing with them, it ain't good for you. Like who gives a fuck how many subs they have? They're fucking kids, are they not? Like we're playing Fortnite. I'm gonna make it, he's gonna, if he, if Logan Paul or whoever. What, this is such a dumb comment. Who cares if subs are kids or not? Money is money. You think the money matters if it comes from a 15 year old versus a 25 year old? What a dumb comment. Why do, I don't understand why people are so mad that somebody played with the Logan Paul or whoever. Like, who the fuck cares? Why does it matter? Just because you play with somebody doesn't mean you necessarily have endorsed every single thing they've ever done. Because if that's the stance you want to take, like, all of these streamers should kill their aspirations at being streamers um because like like every single person that's like part of these big screaming streaming squads have usually been involved in some pretty dumb stupid immature um kind of malicious shit depending on who you're talking about like it's just such a weird position to take with a community that thrives on drama to try to if you're gonna look at it from like a business perspective playing with them it ain't good for you like who gives a fuck how many subs they have they're fucking kids are they not like we're playing Fortnite. I'm gonna make it. He's gonna if he if Logan Paul or whoever. What? This is such a dumb comment. Who cares if subs are kids or not? Money is money. You think the money matters if it comes from a 15 year old versus a 25 year old? What a dumb comment. Uh, well, he's so fucking stupid. Now I don't actually agree with Destiny there. That's fucking stupid. You care because if you're soda, which he puts sub mode a bunch of times. If you have a horde of kids that come because of Fortnite and now sub like Twitch Prime and they all sub, the, your sub mode becomes completely cancer and your entire environment and channel becomes garbage. So, Destiny, you... fuck you. Okay, moving on. 
So going back to the previous summit clip where he said he was going to ban subs that were being hateful towards the situation he was in, he did ban a few subs. He then received a bit of hate because he was banning subs. He did tweet out about it, saying that because pretty much anyone can get a free sub now, subs don't mean as much as they used to. And then finally, he did react to it on stream. Here's that clip. Okay, just to just to uh, just to acknowledge that one, there's been a lot of people being like, "Wow, someone's banning his subs over this Jake Paul thing." What a fucking asshole, dude! All these people that support you. Okay, one for starters, let me just say this: guy who wasn't here when it happened and is completely going off the fucking word of other people who are also stupid. Okay, let me just tell you what happened exactly. One, it's free sub month. Okay, like before this. There was free sub month. Anybody can sub multiple accounts multiple times, dude. Who gives a flying fuck, right? Those people aren't ever coming back. The guy was spamming in the chat, in my sub chat, spamming, um, spamming, yo, we should all go to another channel, dude. Go, Everyone go to this guy's channel. Everyone go to this guy's channel. And not as a raid, as in, like, let's all leave Summit because he's an asshole kind of thing. So if you don't think that guy deserves a ban, you suck my fucking dick, man. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Okay, that's all. And so there is one final point to go over before going over the conclusion to this, and that is due to all the hate and bad publicity he got for the stream with Jake Paul, Summit did a stream the very next morning. This stream was six hours long and had the title, do not donate or sub. I also will not be reading chat. It's gonna be awkward. So this whole stream was just a normal stream with the only difference that there was no interaction with any of the viewers. And so finally, in conclusion, Summit 1G, after finishing that stream, tweeted out, all right, listen, Truce. Everything that was said today sucks. Normal stream tomorrow. Let's be friends again. Don't let my channel die anymore. Thanks. So that is his apology to his viewers. And because of this, I don't think he's going to be streaming with Jake Paul again. And so that is it for the video today. I want to thank you for watching as normal. I hope I covered all the information required. And so finally, I want to know what you guys think. Does this initial streaming with Jake Paul affect your view of Summit or not? But I want to thank you for watching as normal. And I hope to see you in the next one.